Hello beautiful people, my name is Kristen. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Today I have a book box subscription called Coffee and a Classic. I love reading classics. That's one of the key things that I do on my channel. I have a personal goal just to read a classic once a month minimally. Um, so it's been happening for a couple years, almost three years now. So it's getting to the point where I'm starting to own a significant amount of classics, or at least more so than I had prior, right? So when I get the book boxes, it's starting to be that sometimes I already have that version or story. So this may be kind of near the end of this particular box for me, but I wanted to continue to share it. I think I've already paid for next month, so I think next month will be my last one. Uh, this month, because of the move and everything, there is a way to check and see if you're going to want the one that they're sending and you can change it. Um, you don't have to look, that way it could be a surprise, but I had started a habit of looking. But because I moved, I did not look. And um, this month is A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. If you know me, you know I am actually not a Dickens fan. I even did the Charles Dickens walk where I walked places that he had walked and written and lived and all that kind of stuff while I was overseas in England. Um, and so I appreciate Charles Dickens, but I don't really care for his writing style so much. But I don't mind that I received this book, this box or this book. So here is the coffee. Um, roasted coffee the revolution let me see if it says on the card sometimes it has a flavor yes this one is flavored with cinnamon hazelnut so a nice wintry kind of blend I will definitely enjoy that let's see what else we got you get two bookish items as well as a bookmark coffee you can replace the coffee with tea or hot cocoa so here's a book bag that has a quote from The Tale of Two Cities. So that's nice. I can use that for groceries because I try to, you know, take the reusable grocery bags with me. And then it looks like we have a diffuser. It's like, what's the smell? <laughs> it's like, hopefully it's not like nasty city. <laughs> so it's like a little diffuser. Um, it has a guillotine on it, just if you can't see that. It's it's like, yeah, I wanna have a guillotine. <laughs> Maybe it's, uh, you know, perfect for October reading, right? So let me see on the card if it says anything about that. Um, uh, a reed diffuser, inspired fragrance of the Tale of Two Cities. So there you go. Let's look at the book and see what coffee get the little worms out so there it is yep another guillotine charles dickens it was the best of times it was the worst of times it was the age of wisdom it was the age of foolishness it was the epic of belief it was the epic of incredulity it was the season of light the season of darkness it was spring of hope and the winter of despair so let's see i don't think i found the bookmark yet did i i don't think so let me dig through the worms bookmark wood bookmark with this seal painting oh here it is it's hard to find it in all the little squiggles so it's uh, balsa wood bookmark with a little painting on it. That's cool. I do like the bookmark a lot. I'll use the bookmark. So I have not read this particular Charles Dickens and I might someday when I go through some of the other classics that I'm particularly excited about. So I do think if you have a goal to read the classics and particularly if you like the surprise of one, it's always a beautiful like keepsake copy that they send you. I really do appreciate this book box. Um, 
I will probably have one more that I think I've already paid for that will be coming next month. And then I'm gonna take a little break from this particular one for a while, but I will leave the link to their website below. I don't get anything if you use that link, but it's there for your convenience to check it out. It'll also make a great gift to send somebody. Um, and I think you can also have the option off their website to order particular ones that they had overstocked if you you know, find one that's particularly meaningful for someone. So. That's what I have to share. Thank you for stopping by, enjoying it. If you've read Tale of Two Cities or you have a favorite Dickens that you wanna put below and kind of maybe inspire or encourage me to check out a little more Dickens, please leave that below. I would really appreciate it. I hope you have a blessed day. Take care and I'll see you again soon.